Polite society feels like Booksmart and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World had a baby, but the baby wasn't on as a higher budget as those films were and i just don't know does that work does it not work does this action comedy have a lot of great action and a lot of good comedy that's what i'm going to talk about when i break down the good and the bad of polite society let's start off with the good martial arts in training ria khan believes she must save her older sister lena from the impending marriage from a snooty family that she is being arranged with after enlisting the help of her friends, Rhea attempts to pull off the most ambitious of all wedding heists in the name of independence and sisterhood. Light Society is probably the weirdest constructed film that I feel like I've seen all year because it has the qualities of those films that are feel like movies, feel like they should be seen in a cinema, but it also has like the filmmaking aspects to it that feels like this should be on TV. You should check it out on streaming. It's really weird because sometimes it looks pretty cinematic and then sometimes it looks like a TV show that I'm watching that I actually would enjoy if it was a TV show, but maybe not something that I would expect in the cinema. But the movie overcomes a lot of those faults because it keeps a fun tone throughout. The main characters are, have great chemistry with the rest of the family, and I really love the sisters' sisterhood and how they bounced off each other. The little sister, Rhea, who's the main character of the story, she's trained to be a stunt artist. She aspires to be in movies doing stunt work. She does not want to be a, lot, a doctor like all her family wants her to be. She does not worry about getting married off to a man. She wants to achieve her dreams, and she wants to, her sister to achieve her dreams as well. The character is someone that could be very, very annoying in a lot of different movies, that annoying sister that's not understanding that you're starting to grow up and change the things that you're into and trying to hold you back and maybe sabotage your plans because they want you to be close with them and do the same things together all of the time. And a lot of the times that is a side character or supporting character in the main character story, but she's the main character here. And the actress that plays her overcomes those stereotypes and makes her very endearing. There's a layer there where you're like, oh God, I get it. You don't want her to get married. You don't want her to give up her dreams of being an artist, but you got to let her go. And it's like that theme is there of letting go family, trying to grow and realize that just because you have a certain dream, the other person might not. And Lena, played by Ritu Ara. I don't know if I said her name correctly. Hopefully I did. I'm a fan of her from Umbrella Academy on Netflix, and she does a great job here. She's a, a university dropout. Her major was art. And you can see in the beginning of the film, she's in a major funk, and she doesn't know what to do with her life, and her sister's trying to pull her and inspire her again until she gets stuck with, um, with being set to a party and getting arranged with the snooty family. That's where the crux of the story comes in with Rhea trying to sabotage this wedding as much as she can and trying to figure out how to get her sister to realize this is not a good idea. And that back and forth of her not realizing maybe this is the step that her sister may need to take. And it was a, it was a lot of sweet moments between her and her sister, her and her family. And then the movie takes a huge plot twist and goes absolutely bonkers and th subverts my expectations all the way and does this really crazy sci-fi thing that I did not expect, I don't think was advertised in the trailers at all, and had me going, what the hell? <laughs> Throughout the movie, once it was revealed, I was like, this is what this movie's about? What the hell is going on? I didn't, was he even did. I guess technically, because I don't want to spoil it, it was hinted a little bit, but not as much as I, I was like, wow, this is absolutely insane. And I was excited to see what they were going to do with this, this, this concept that they, they pulled off and didn't advertise for the film. There's martial arts fights. There's, uh, her training to be the stunt woman. And there's a story of her emailing and talking to the person that she is trying to get an internship with. And a lot of the things that's going on in her personal life, we see her friends with her supporting friends. The two characters that play her friends are great. They have some of the best, funniest moments in the film, and they really were a great addition. And I really liked a lot of the supporting cast, especially the antagonist, the mother of the son that Lena was going to marry. She was a villain and antagonist in Miss Marvel, and, uh, and she did a great job here as well. Let's get into the bad. So what's weird about this movie, it has a lot of tonal issues where it feels like it's trying to be like a high school 
movie of a girl trying to figure out her way, but then also has her older sister and it has that kind of film where someone's getting married to somebody they shouldn't be and we have to stop it. And I feel like they, those two things didn't 100% connect all the time. And I think that because this story, I feel like needed to be a series instead of a movie because the editing and the pacing of it, it's just breakneck. I feel like a lot of scenes didn't get to breathe and get the emotional weight that it needed to be because the character Lena was going through some depression and things like that. And they kind of like showed her in her bed for like two seconds and then the scene was over or they would be having an emotional argument and it wouldn't last that long. But then they would spend a lot of times on things that I feel like didn't matter to the greater story. Like Rhea's beef with a character in the school and there was a whole fight sequences for that where I felt like that time could have been set on the relationship between these two because when those two are together those are the best moments of the film the movie wasn't as funny as it should have been and part of it is probably on me because this movie centers around a Muslim Pakistani family and on there's a layer of cultural jokes there that I just don't get and that's fine. And then also this is set in the UK. So there's a lot of slang or like inside jokes that they have that I just didn't understand as well. And then the jokes that I did understand, I just didn't get that big of a chuckle out of. There were funny moments that made me laugh, but there was a lot of times when they were saying certain things that I was like, I either didn't understand or thought it was that executed really well because of the editing or because of the way it was directed or and, and sped through. Like there was not enough build up to certain jokes or not enough build up to certain gags that they were trying to form that made it highly, highly funny for me. Let's get into my verdict. So overall, I like, really like this film. It was a fun time in the theater, despite it, it feeling like a movie I can't recommend for you to run to go see in the theaters. If you've seen everything that came out this past weekend or, you know, Guard, you know, going to go see Guardians and not going to really want to see another movie. Polite Society is a good watch. It's a fun time. The Like I said, the third act goes a bit crazy with the sci-fi and the things that it wants to do. And the martial arts is done well and it's fun, but it just suffers from just not being as funny as I want it to be. And the filmmaking is not as strong as it should be for a cinema release. So with that said, I'm going to give Polite Society a C+. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What would you rate Polite Society if you have seen it? And based on my review, if you have not seen the movie yet, will you check it out? Let me know all those thoughts down below in the comments. Like, su subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified of my reviews, reactions, live discussions, and much, much more. And you can catch more of my content. Yeah.